Radiation concerns this weekend. Health officials found low concentrations of radiation in Massachusetts rainwater. They believe it's from the Japanese nuclear plant that was damaged earlier this month by a massive earthquake and tsunami. So we wanted to see if officials here in Rhode Island are keeping an eye out for the possibility of this happening here. Eyewitness News reporter Stephen Schuler has more from the Department of Health from the Providence Mobile Newsroom. With other states now reporting trace amounts of radiation, we went to the health department to find out if Rhode Island could soon join that list. As Massachusetts health officials monitor low levels of radiation found in Boston's rainwater, Rhode Island's Department of Health is keeping close contact with the Environmental Protection Agency. We are in contact with EPA and we're waiting to hear from them to see if they have any change in recommendations for that testing for drinking water. In recent years, the federal government removed a requirement for Rhode Island to test water for radiation due to a low risk with no local nuclear power plants. Experts say the minor spike in radioactivity in Massachusetts and several other states is likely caused by a changing weather pattern, filtering radiation from a damaged Japanese nuclear reactor. Bay State officials say the radiation levels pose no public health risk and don't endanger public drinking water. In Rhode Island, we've learned EPA air tests show no spike in radiation, and with no immediate order to test drinking water, health officials tell us they're monitoring the situation. If they feel that we on the East Coast need to change our recommendations and say, okay, drinking water systems in Rhode Island, you need to start testing for this, we absolutely will inform all the public water systems of that. And to put things into perspective, the Environmental Protection Agency says people are exposed to much more radiation taking an international airline flight. At the Health Department with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, I'm Stephen Schuler, Eyewitness News.